Hello everyone. I'm bringing you a video today as a tribute to the great Jason David Frank, who has recently passed. It is very saddening for us who grew up in the 90s, who grew up with Jason David Frank being in the Power Rangers. My wife is especially saddened because she really admired him as the Power Rangers and grew up with him. So as a tribute, I'm going to show you guys the figures that we have in our collection, remembering Jason David Frank. And the first figure that we have is one of the older ones from the 90s, was the Green Ranger with the action of the head flip. So for this one, for those of you that haven't seen this one, you just take off the gold armor. You flip the head. There's the hum there's the head without the helmet. And to have him transform, you would just push down on his belt. An instant helmet. This toy was awesome when it first came out. He also came with his dragon dagger. All silver, but not, not painted, but it was still the best. And he came with a blaster as well. So, the next figure that we have in the collection, also the Green Ranger, is this one here. Let me see if I get him to stand up. There we go. And this Green Ranger was one of the older figures before Hasbro got the line. This was the Bandai Green Ranger. The next figure that we have is also from the Bandai line, the White Ranger. And I really like the sculpt of these two figures. They're a little on the taller side, but they have good articulation. Great coloring, great sculpting. And to compare these figures, I have the Lightning Collection Green Ranger. A little smaller there. And I also have the Lightning Collection White Ranger. He too is a little smaller. They came with interchangeable heads. One helmeted, one unhelmeted. Let's move these guys back so I can make more room. All these figures are great. I enjoy the articulation on the Lightning Collection. I enjoy the sculpt on the Bandai. One more for the Lightning Collection. Lord Dracon. Personally, I like Lord Dracon, not because of the story or anything, but just because it's a mixture between the red, the green and the white ranger. This one is from the Lightning Collection. He only came with the dragon sword. Um, sometimes I'll grab, the, grab Saba from the white ranger so that way he could wield both swords. He looks pretty cool with them. And one that I have here. Is also from Lightning Collection, which is the movie Ninja White Ranger. I enjoy all these figures very much. Great articulation, great sculpt, and I like the head sculpts they have of JFD. I feel that they're all very good sculpts. And we can't have Jason David Frank without... The dragon sword now this is the only dragon sword i have in my collection because the bigger ones are pretty expensive but this one is from the mini pla line he is a model kit we also do have all the other dragon swords and they do morph together as well 
This is the well-known dragon sword here. Maybe now uh, I'll get a bigger dragon sword so that way it'll be in better scale. Hopefully I can still find them at a good price. Okay, we'll put these guys off to the side. Oh, drop the helmet. And I also have this one here, which is still in package. He is also the Green Ranger from the Lightning Collection, but I do like that he has the unmasked helmeted head, or unhelmeted un head, I mean. And to compare him to the other Green Ranger that I have, the difference here is this one has the silver coloring here on the top versus this one, it's just all green. Pretty much the same figure, same accessories. In the show, um, the silver one is a phantom or a clone copy of Tommy whenever he was going through a crisis and figuring himself out in the show. And finally, me and my wife recently had gone to a comic-con where jason david frank was my wife has had this in her collection for a while now and we decided to take it with us and we got a signature from jason david frank there he also gave us little cards i don't know if you can see it in the back there i put it inside the box so it wouldn't get lost with his signature of his movie coming out, the White, the Legend of the White Dragon. Hopefully that movie still does come out. And if they make a figure of that movie, I am for sure going to get it. It looks really good. The design, the sculpt of the figure looks really good to me. And while my wife was there meeting Jason David Frank... She also got a signed picture from him as well. So, in remembrance of Jason David Frank, we have all this. We'll keep those signatures. I don't know what's going on, but we are losing some 90s icons. First, Kevin Conroy. Now Jason David Frank. It's said that we don't know the reason of Jason David Frank's passing yet, but it is saying that he took his own life. And depression, it's a very serious issue. A lot of times we can't see it, we can't recognize it. But if you guys do know of somebody struggling with depression get them some help find them some help be there for them listen to them do whatever you can because life is very precious and it not only affects the one person it affects everybody around them So, Jason David Frank, you will be missed, and thank you for all the memories, all the nostalgia, all the excitement of you being the Power Ranger, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Ranger, thank you, thank you guys for all tuning in, and remember everybody, enjoy the little things in life.